Oh, hello. Uh, my name is Aaron Oti, and I am a musician. Uh, I have a debut album um, out. It's called Zero Tolerance, and I've been working on it for a long time. And I'm, I'm as happy as I could possibly be working on Zero Tolerance on my own. Uh, but then something happened, and a famous DJ came along and made me happier than I could possibly be somehow, um, working on Zero Tolerance. And the famous DJ, I doesn't really need any introduction, probably the greatest DJ of all time, uh, came working with me on the album by the name of John. Gibbons, I know, um, and uh, you can speak to him. We're ready to go. Yeah, just get rid of that guy, please. No, that guy. Just get him out. I don't like the way he's looking at me. Just get him out of here. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, good luck, yeah. Hi. I'm John Gibbons. I probably need a little introduction. I no introduction at all. For those of you who may have been living under a rock for the past number of years, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I'm very famous. I'm extremely wealthy very rich actually. Let's not put too fine a point on it. And as you can tell I'm extremely good looking. But there's a lot more to me than just that. And the obvious success story is here in front of you right now but you may not know how I've become so successful. Well I don't like to brag and I won't go on too much about myself but as a young boy I would have been widely regarded as being prodigious and talented when it came to a lot of different things so the world was my proverbial oyster and the career path that I chose for myself was music. I decided why waste my time in finance or banking when I can get rich any way I want. So I'll have some fun along the way. No stodgy collars for me. I'll dress like a star and I'll become a musician. I was a very good singer and still an excellent singer of course and I like to do it in my spare time and I'll sing in the shower and the bath, one of my several baths, and decided when I was young that's not really what I want to do. I want to DJ. Yes. My messiah-like qualities will come to the fore if I can stand arms aloft on stage and dictate to that crowd what it is they should be dancing to and how they should dance. I give one motion, one movement, the crowd mimics that, and imitates the star on the stage. That was me. That was me all over. So I thought, right, what's the most challenging way? I like a challenge. What's the most challenging way for me to go about? I mean, I could have swanned onto any stage, given the talent at my disposal, of course. So I decided, no, I'll make some music. I'll let people hear what I'm all about before they see this. So I did. A string of hit singles later and a huge degree of success. And I'm traveling the world and impressing all and sundry around me. John, really, I suppose, is just, in general, a great human being, to be honest. Out of all the money he makes, <laughs> which is a lot of money, he donates it all to charity. And he paid extra taxes. And he was recently knighted. He taught Jimi Hendrix how to play guitar, and he taught Michael Jackson how to do the moonwalk. And, last year, he recently won an award for World's Most Attractive Man. <laughs> so, yeah, we're very, 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 very happy to have John. And as I said, I won't talk too much about myself. But you may have heard of a guy called Aaron O'Dee. Of course you have. This is all about him. That's why I'm here. I'm here to talk about my protege, Aaron O'Dee. I discovered Aaron a couple of years ago. Well, actually, Aaron joined the long queue of people who were trying to get to me a number of years ago. He wanted to work with me. He wanted some of my ability to perhaps rub off on him in the metaphorical sense and to bite from the apple of fame and success. So I saw a little of myself in Aaron. And I said, yeah, that, that guy reminds me of myself. He's very good looking. He 
has a modicum of talent, obviously not quite as prodigious as I. However, he has something there. He's a spark and he could benefit from my guidance. So being the generous soul that I am, I took him under my wing. And I said, Aaron, I'm going to make you a star now. So one album later, Aaron's first album later, and here I am sitting talking about the guy. But what I will say about the album Zero Tolerance is that the ethos and the philosophy, philosophy behind it is, it's, it's me, it screams me all over. Zero tolerance. No nonsense. I'll take no nonsense. I speak no nonsense. Anyone who knows me knows that there's nothing comes from my mouth that isn't worthy. There's nothing comes from these hands that isn't worthy, that isn't desirable, that people don't want a part of. So this album is no different. I take zero tolerance. Aaron takes zero tolerance. The album had to be called Zero Tolerance. And I think when you hear it, you'll agree. You'll no longer have zero tolerance for the shite that's out there. It's all about Aaron O'Dea's new album, which I edited and made it listenable to. It's all about that. Congratulations, Aaron. John's been giving me some um, meditation classes and he's been giving me some tutoring on music, which is great. He's, he's, um, he's there, he's, he's available and that's, that's what I'm looking for. Um, he's very, he's like, he's brilliant. He's, he's very nice. His long hair kind of reminds me of Medusa a little bit. But, you know, every time I look at him I feel like he's going to turn me to stone. You know, um, we're recording tomorrow. Um, it should be um, educational, so yeah, and it should work out well. So, what do I do in the proverbial classroom scenario with Aaron? Well, I teach. What does anyone do in a classroom? They teach. There's no better teacher than I. What do I teach Aaron? Well, I teach him a multitude of things. Not just about music. He's most interested in the guitar, and as you can see in here, I'm a very accomplished guitar player. But I teach him about life too. You see, when Aaron came to me, he was quite a green young man. Of course, not in the literal sense. The guy wasn't actually green. But he had a lot to learn, I'll just put it that way. Quite a lot to learn. So I began long, long hours teaching him chord patterns, teaching him progressions, teaching him how he could flirt between musical styles, how he could tease the ear and the listener. And he became pretty okay at that too. And as the hours passed, the weeks passed, the months passed, Aaron became quite the guitar player. Um, so the album is going great, yeah. Um, I did some album, I did some album uh, uh, art for, for, for the album, I, my own album cover. This is it, this is the album cover that I did. And um, John had a look at it and he said, oh, well I thought it was pretty good, but John said um, that it wasn't um, good enough at all. Uh, which is fair enough, look, it's, it's, not, it's not great to be honest. Um, so. John went and very kindly did his own his his, his own um, version of the Zero Tolerance album cover. So that's probably going to be the one we'll use because it's vastly superior. So uh, this is John's one. So uh, great. I let him use this guitar once or twice actually, and found that. He could play it almost as good as I could at certain times when, when he was really feeling the moment. And it was at that, that moment, I remember it was a, a hot summer's evening and it had been a long day in the studio and tempers had frayed a number of times. I remember one particular incident where my assistant had served us tea and it wasn't the correct temperature, which obviously isn't going to help with the work environment. And there had been quite a tete-a-tete -tete at the time between myself and herself and she was relieved of her duties. Aaron was sent to make the tea, and by the time he came back, I had simmered down somewhat. 
And I decided it was time for a life lesson. And it was at that point I said, Aaron, I'm going to teach you something I've never taught anyone before. My meditation methods. I do a lot of meditation. I'm a very spiritual person, as you've probably gathered. And I said, Aaron, if you can be as calm and as zen as I can be, well, then you can accomplish anything. And it will really help your music. It will help the fluidity of your music, the fluency of your music. So Aaron kind of looked at me and he said, but John, I've never meditated before. What do I do? I'm not a spiritual guy. I don't go to Mass on a Sunday. I don't give to charity on a regular basis like you do. Um, so I said, Aaron, observe, watch and learn. So I put my guitar aside. Be very careful. And I said, Aaron, do as I do and repeat after me. In, in fact, viewing at home, you can join in. Let's have a little meditation session right now. It won't be long, but you will benefit. You'll carry this through into the rest of your life. So sit comfortably. And if you're not sitting, stand comfortably. Ensure that your legs are not crossed. Upturn palms. Close your eyes. Mine are closed now. You won't be able to tell that from my expensive designer sunglasses. And breathe deeply. If you've got asthma, don't worry about the breathing. Keep the eyes closed. Now, I'm going to take you on a journey. A magical journey to the moon and the stars. I want you to imagine that you're the most beautiful creature on God's green earth, or Buddha, or whoever it is that you worship. I want you to imagine you have hair like mine, a face like mine, a body like mine. And whilst being aware that that could never happen, perfection like this is possible to achieve. You can imagine that you're somewhat close. Now, snap out of it. Take that thought with you. That thought will benefit you in the rest of your day, your week, your month, your, your life. And once I had taught Aaron one or two secrets such as that secret, well, he never looked back, really. The guy meditates every day. Every morning we start with a little prayer, not to a specific deity, but to the universe, the whole connected universe. And we know that that day is going to be good and beneficial and there'll be an honest and hard day's work and a lot of money made. It's important to make a lot of money in your life. Because even if you're not blessed with the looks that I've been blessed with and you don't have the genetics that I have, and you can buy yourself a new face in this day and age. You can implant musculature. You can be creation that you want to be. The only limit is your imagination. I thought Aaron that and I'm teaching you that today. That's free advice. That's John Gibbons pro bono. Take it with you. Aaron took it with him and Aaron has learned so much. The guy is on the road to stardom. Hum. Hum. Oh, hello. I didn't see the camera there. Um, I was just meditating and revising, revising the stuff John's teaching me. Um, John's giving me a test tomorrow before recording at about uh, 6 o'clock in the morning. He'll wake me up with a bell. I have to get over 60% in the test or everyone in my family will neglect me. Um, so um, the test is on John's life story, essentially. I'm um, just looking at here, uh, PYT, Pretty Young Thing, Would I Lie to You, all the masterpieces. Um, so, uh, recording is going, um, well, it's a little bit behind schedule, but I'm sure John has it all worked out in his head. Um, we're recording the government's plan tomorrow, after, after the test, and um, the government's plan isn't great, but I'm sure John will make it brilliant. Um, so... That's um, everything. Everything um, that that's going on right now. So I'm just going to sit here and and revise and worry about the test. 
to, you can go, if you want to. Okay, um... Uh, you may proceed. Oh, okay, thank you, thank you, John. I'm ready. Uh, okay. Um, the government's plan, is that, is that... Yeah, that's acceptable. <laughs> said to you earlier. Yeah. You must feel each note. Yes, it's a form of expression, but first of all, you must feel it. You can't give back to an audience unless you take from the music first. Make it a part of you. You are an embodiment of each chord. Go again. Okay. Uh, I don't think you're holding the guitar pr properly. I think you've the incorrect grip. On the guitar. Uh, anyway. The uh, guitar. <laughs> just, just, just grip it more tightly. Like that? Perfect. <laughs> Go for it. problem with rhythm. There isn't How can we rhythm. solve I mean, every problem has a solution, multiple solutions. Luckily for you, I can see them quite quickly. I'll provide the rhythm. I'll clap. And you play. Let's go. Okay, <laughs> okay. This will be a worthwhile exercise. Do you want to count me in? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> That's much better. That that's a that's a big big improvement. Uh, Do you think you want me to continue with rhythm, or are you happy enough? Because I won't be there on stage with you. Rhythm is fine. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. I want you to pick up the pace a little bit. I want you to speed up the track. I haven't got all day. So let's just speed up the track. <laughs> Sounding too scratchy. You know what I mean by scratchy? Yeah, you're scratching at it. Yeah, yeah, it sounds scratchy. I mean, I won't bore you with the technical terms. I think what you're going to have to do is remember that place that I taught you to go. Do you remember our meditations? Yes, yes. Well, I need you to go to that place. Use your imagination and imagine that you're me on stage. What would I do if I was on stage? Not you, Aaron D. What would John Giddens do on stage? What way would John grip the guitar? What way would John play? What rhythm would he express? Would he feel the notes? Would he feel the music? Would he have that connection with his audience? Um, okay. Okay. Uh. In your own time. Well, the government's plan it has been completely changed. 
Uh, unfortunately, I got 59% in my test, so I'll be sleeping in a ditch tonight. Uh, John introduced me to a new instrument, the kazoo. Uh, I'm really looking forward to whatever new opportunity it has to offer. I have no idea what he's on about, though. See, Aaron, there's one very important lesson to take from this session today. Remember this. I'm an ideas man. Ideas man right here. Remember that. Are we done here yet? For fuck's sake.